So Amber, you're not a, a big fan of, uh, of the beverage uh, that uh, is allegedly America's most popular, hot coffee. Now, uh, when was the last time you had a cup? A couple days ago, but it wasn't hot coffee, it was iced coffee. Right. But it's not your favorite beverage? No, it is not. What is it that, uh, that troubles you about coffee? I don't like the fact that I could possibly addict to, to the caffeine inside of it. I don't want to have to need to have to have a cup of coffee. Right. And you think there are coffee addicts around? Yeah, I think you can get addicted to caffeine. Well, look at this place. It's full every morning. Exactly. <laughs> and here you are. That's why I thought you might be a fan of coffee, because you're sitting out here in front of a coffee house. No. Uh, nope. Just I just needed a place to sit for a couple minutes. And this is one of the few benches that you can yes. use in this town. <laughs> yes. Great. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your, uh, your comments. You're welcome. Jennifer Usher of Rutland, what is it about <laughs> coffee that you just uh, love so much? That morning ritual, that, that, like, bringing out my coffee beans and grinding them up, putting them in the French press, waiting for the water to boil. Then I get to have a nice warm cup of coffee to start my day with. I like the Vermont organic style coffees, and, uh, and then I go sit on the front deck with my kitten while he's exploring all the plants on the deck and have a few minutes of peace and quiet before I start my day. Yeah, that's what I like about coffee. Tell me a little bit more about you and coffee. Me the, and The coffee. relationship. Now you, you um, do the two cups a day, one in the morning. When's the other one? Usually a little bit later in the morning. So I'll have my first cup, you know, f first thing pretty much after waking up. And then when I get here to work, I'm very lucky to have a wonderful cafe next door that serves excellent coffee. So around 11 o'clock, I usually get that little tickle in my mind saying, hey, another cup would be great. So I go back over there and I tend to not drink that entire cup, but I'll have it and so I can work on it throughout the day and not drink coffee too late in the day because it doesn't let me sleep, but it's just a nice thing. It's a nice, warm, lifting beverage. You started drinking coffee when you were in school. Oh yeah, and in, um, in college I was an art major and so there would be times when uh, we needed to work late on art projects and our, and our art studio had a little kitchenette with a coffee maker. I didn't know it at the time, but it was pretty wretched coffee, but it was what I had to drink and keep me going until my art project was finished. So like canned coffee, like Folgers? Like Folgers or, or one of those, you know, type of thing. Maybe not the best quality, but still, it did the job. And uh, so that's, yeah, I was in college before I really started drinking coffee on a regular basis. We're so fortunate and, uh, that we have better coffee to drink nowadays. I agree. I agree. And it's nice. My dad would tell me that any coffee is better than no coffee, but, you know. I, like I don't the, know. I like the nice stuff. <laughs> I think no coffee is better than bad coffee. True. I agree. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. You're welcome. It keeps me awake and alert throughout the day, and I'm a dark roast, all black coffee drinker. Uh, I switched probably about a year and a half ago, to, took out the cream and sugar, and this is what I stick with now. So, so. just black coffee? Yeah. Why'd you, why'd you dump the cream and sugar? Just taste. Yeah. Too much sugar. Because the black coffee, you get the essence. Yes. You, get the you real can really thing. taste those coffee beans. How long have you been a coffee drinker? Oh, a while. Like when did you start? College. So, college? Yeah. Most people say that. Yeah. Because it was free. That's right. I didn't drink coffee in high school. How many cups of coffee do you say you go through in a day? Probably two at the most. Like when? Like this one? Like this one and maybe like later morning. It's hard for me to drink um, black caffeinated coffee late in the afternoon because I don't get to bed at night. Yeah, you kind of jumpy. Yeah. yeah, a little jittery. Perfect. Thank yeah. you, Lisa. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. you Thanks. Too. Tell me something. Is coffee your favorite beverage? It appears to be America's. It is not. I don't actually don't like coffee. You don't like coffee? I don't like coffee. What is it about coffee that you don't like? Uh, I don't like the taste of it. It sort of leaves a bad taste in your mouth afterwards also. It's kind of bitter? Yes. Uh, some people like that bitterness. Yeah, and that's okay. Is that, you know what's bitter in the coffee? No. That's the caffeine. Oh. <laughs> that's what people like about it. What about the caffeine? Do you have... Uh... I'm not huge on caffeine. Um, I don't drink it every day. Right, right. What's your favorite beverage then? Your favorite hot beverage when you get up in the morning? Um, I don't drink it every day, but my favorite would be black tea. Terrific. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And have a nice day. <laughs> Thanks, you too.
Well, I am sure a lot of people do it for the kick, but I do it because I like the taste of it. 24 and, 7. And how long have you been a coffee drinker? Um, probably since I was a teenager. And Mark, tell me something about how many cups of coffee do you consume every day? Probably four to six. Four to six? Now that's a bit more than anybody else I've talked to today. Uh, you don't find that it keeps you awake at night if you drink too much? Nope. Doesn't bother Not you. at all. Never has. Yeah. Tell me about coffee. Tell me about you and coffee. You say you're a coffee snob. What does that mean exactly? I am a coffee exactly? snob. Uh, to me, that means everybody's allowed to be a snob about something, where they uh, put it above everything else, and they can look down their nose at other people about it, and my thing is coffee. So I get a, singly, uh, a single-sourced, light roast uh, supplier uh, in St. Louis called Sump Coffee. Every morning I don't just toss it into a coffee maker. I have a pour over method and it yeah. goes into a glass jar and it, it, it's all ceramic so there aren't any uh, um, like other tastes like bleached paper or anything right. like that. So I take a lot of pride in it. Um, I don't use cream. I use some almond milk or cashew milk sure. just to kind of cool it down and get it to the perfect temperature for me. No sugar and yeah, so that's what it means to be a coffee snob to me, you know, freshly ground. It has to be used within a week, otherwise right. uh, it oxidizes and it's no good anymore. Well, Nick, that's so, so labor intensive. It is, but you know what? It's a relaxing ritual in the morning right. before you go to work. Here you go. So, but, yeah. yeah, I understand that. That makes sense. Well, what do you do? You're on the road. You're on the trail. What do you do for coffee there? <laughs> Um, if I wanted, uh, if I'm treating myself, it's going to be a long day. Um, I use the Starbucks Via packets. Um, otherwise, I use Folgers or the Nescafe, and I mix that in with a Carnation uh, breakfast thing. So it's kind of like a coffee flavored mocha thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's not home, but it wakes me up and it gets me going. That's uh, fantastic. So how long are you on the trail? Uh, I started June 5th. Um, I'm planning on getting done by no, well, by Thanksgiving. Yeah. So. Well, good for you, yeah. man. Thank you. Welcome yeah. to Rutland. Thank you. It's a beautiful town here. I love it. It's, yeah. It reminds me a little bit of St. Louis with the architecture and the way that the city is set up. I like it. Uh, without so. the arches. Without the arches. And without the Mississippi. And without the Mississippi. But that's probably a good thing. It keeps it humid. <laughs> <laughs> Take so. care of yourself. All right. Thanks Thank for you talking very, to Street Talk. You bet. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. Just the fact that it keeps them going throughout the day um maybe helps their day go a little bit easier and deal with the stresses of life a little bit how does it do that um i think well it might be a mental thing i'm not sure but i think the caffeine in it just gives you a little extra boost throughout the day right how many cups of coffee gets you through the day uh i usually only have one yeah. just one does it for you yep one does it for me <laughs> how do you like to drink it what do you put in it um i usually just do a little bit of a cream and sugar yeah. just yeah, just Creamy a little sugar. bit. <laughs> no maple syrup, no. No. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lexi. Have a yeah, nice day. Yeah, thanks. Enjoy you your too. coffee. Thanks. <laughs> I like coffee. I don't drink it for like a buzz effect. I'm already hyper. I like to. I haven't had one today yet. <laughs> yeah. I drink iced coffee. I don't like it hot. Oh, okay. Yeah. In fact, on my way home, I'm getting stopping at Stewart's. They make the best. Best iced coffee. Yes. Yeah. And yep. what do you put in it? Do you put anything in it, or just the um, uh, some? T it depends on what type I get. Um, cream, cream aura, you know, yep. and um, sometimes some um, one or two sugars, maybe. Sometimes I don't even use sugar. Super. And yeah. how many of those in a day can you tolerate? One. Just the one, and that keeps <laughs> you keeps you going. Yeah. One. Well, thank you, Dory. Thanks very much. Thanks for talking to Street Talk. Yep. You have a great day. Thank you.